Welcome back to News Tonight. Let's get you some more news from the state after a lookout notice and then an arrest of Shabir Kutri. A special team from Chennai has left for Mumbai to bring the accused in the case of the attempted blast in Coimbatore in 2002. Shabir Kutri back to the state. The Mumbai police arrested the 32-year-old uh, terror suspect wanted by the Coimbatore police in the case filed under the Explosive Substances Act. In fact, just yesterday, the accused was nabbed by immigration officials at the Mumbai International Airport. Meanwhile, in the blasts that rocked the hills of uh, Uti just yesterday, the centre has awarded 5 lakh rupees compensation according to the Workmen's Benefit Act and a total ex ratio of 10 lakh rupees for each family of the five killed in the Cordite factory blast that took place near Uti. A job offer has also been made to one member of each family by the Indian government. The blast rocked the Cordite factory located 12 kilometers east of Uti which left five workers dead and over a dozen injured. In fact, that factory is a part of the ordinance factories run by the government of India and produces arms, ammunition and equipment for the Indian military. Back to news from the city. Once a sparsely populated backyard, today Mogapair in Chennai is a burgeoning residential locality that is punctuated with apartment complexes, schools, specialized hospitals and IT offices have catapulted Mogapair to a favorite business destination. But surprisingly, basic civic amenities are a far cry for its residents. Lokpriya tells you more. Once a rural area, Mugapir has transformed into a busy residential neighbourhood. But infrastructure at this western suburb is in a state of ruins. No road here is without potholes. And the recent monsoon has only added to the worries of the residents. This road is very bad and it has many potholes and it's very difficult to ride a cycle over here. And my cycle gets easily um, dirty and uh, it's very irritating to walk wash it daily. Uh, in the uh, rainy season we find more pot, uh, we don't know where potholes are here so some uh, we, uh, uh, my cycle gets puncture every other day. The only park that is present in the locality is yet to open to the public and if roads weren't enough reason for the residents to worry, this vast bus stand is no different. Lack of shelters and tar roads inside the terminus puts commuters to hardship. There is a bus stand and a shelter. When NDTV Hindu took up the issue with the Ambatur municipality, the chairman assured that repairs will be completed once the rainy season is over. Ambatur Nagarachi Muruda, in the bending valley, but then I got to the Ragi, Mutru, and the same Murila. Matra to Padilene, Tarsala Padilene, Patchur, the same Mula, Nathur and Mother Patchur, Salem Pomo. Mugapair is one among the many areas under the Ambatur municipality that are in a bad state. With the municipality set to be merged with the Chennai Corporation later next year, one needs to wait and watch if the merger actually comes as a whiff of fresh air for its residents who are battling a host of civic wars. In Chennai, Lok Priya, NDTV Hindu. Well, our hope is all that the residents there in that area have. Now, uh, on to some business news. With more and more automotive and auto components manufacturing units making Chennai a hub in terms of investment, the city is fast emerging as the country's Detroit. Incidentally, over 13,800 crore rupees will be invested in the city by global car manufacturers by the end of 2010-2011. The proposed investment is significantly higher than other auto hubs like Gurgaon in Haryana. In fact, uh, Tamil Nadu Industries Secretary said that the total installed capacity in and around Chennai would be 1.28 million cars a year by the end of the financial year, that is. But that figure is expected to go up significantly thanks to projects uh, by companies like Ford, Hyundai, BMW, Renault, Nissan and Mitsubishi HM that's coming up in the area. This is News Tonight, still ahead on the bulletin. There's no messing with the women in Delhi. One tight slap is what it cost a group of men who wanted to take that chance.